Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today I will be giving a quick tutorial on a preset called Helical Connections. Its main function is to duplicate any kind of curve into a rope-like structure. As you can see, this can make a scene appear much more complex and detailed. It's especially useful for things like ropes, cloth fibers, and more. The usage is pretty straightforward. You just input a curve, in this case, the quadratic Bezier, insert my helical connections, then immediately it duplicates the original curve into a triplet by default. You can feed any field or attributes into the radius and the tilt inputs to drive the shape. For example, you can input an index into the tilt, so each segment rotates by one radian, creating a twisted rope triplet. In practice, I usually use a float range to replace this index node. They work similarly, but a float range gives you more controls. Similarly, for radius, you can input something like spline parameter, which ranges from 0 to 1 from start to the end of a curve. This means the separation between the curve in this triplet can vary smoothly from 0 to 1 meter. You can also tweak the count to control the amount of strength. As for outputs, there are pair index and the spline index, in which you can visualize using the viewport overlay and try to understand the meaning and their differences by itself. One of their uses is to help distinguish strengths for pairing. For example, I used this in a DNA replication animation to ensure the correct DNA-based pairing. In general, this is a very simple but useful preset. The core concept relies on a trick inside the curve to mesh node. Here, let's create a new node tree and let's start with a Bezier curve as the trunk curve and a curve circle as the profile. Normally, the curve to mesh node connects the profile along the trunk to form polygons. But if we instance resampled curve points onto this curve circle, we end up only points as the profile. So not a full curve. In this setup, only the points are connected, forming edges without polygons. This works well, as we previously mentioned, it works with a spline parameter on your radians and index on your tilt adjustments. So in this case, we can create a twisted shape whatever. At this stage, the actual output is just the mesh edges, but we can convert it back to a curve using mesh to curve. Then use another curve to mesh with a proper profile to turn it into a tube-like structure. The idea is conceptually simple, but it involves enough nodes that it's better implemented as a reusable preset. So these steps are currently made into two separate presets. We have helical connections for triplets and bevel curves for tube-like structure. You can combine them with other presets such as float range for twisting, spline parameter for expansions, and so on and so forth. Overall, the main purpose of this tutorial is one, to introduce the helical connections presets, and uh, two, to demonstrate a much simpler workflow that doesn't rely on complex concepts like for each element. Lately, I've seen many overlay complex setups that uh, could be greatly simplified. So I hope this kind of approach can be emphasized again to help people around. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll probably see you next time. Bye. -bye.